Everybody needs a bosom for a pillow. Everybody needs a bosom. Everybody needs a bosom for a pillow. Everybody needs a bosom. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Vicky J, and this is my empties video. <laughs> So this is the empties video for October 2018 and I don't feel like I have a lot. I feel like I have a similar amount to what I usually have, but I have used them up and I'm ready to throw them out. So let's get into it. By the way, if you are not yet a J-Bay, don't forget to click that subscribe button. That is Nala in the background. But don't forget to click that subscribe button down there. It turns from red to gray and that automatically makes you a J-Bay. J-Bays are the best bays in YouTube. They're my bays who tune in whenever I upload to chit chat and all of that. And this time we're talking about empties and the products that I love and will replace or the products that I used and I'm glad I used them because I'm done with them. If you're curious as to what's on my lips right here, this is Unveiled by Fenty Beauty and I absolutely love it. And you know what's on my eyes, you guys? The Safari palette from Natasha Denona and I also love that. Sickening. I got a whole bag of goodies right here, empty uh, products and etc. But this is the first thing I'm gonna talk about because I was supposed to tell you about this guy, about this one right here in the last video because uh, I had used it up already. This, you got all them toys over there. You really trying to get in this video? Uh, this is Cinema Secrets. This is what I use to clean my brushes. I love it because it gets the job done really quickly and it's a quick drying formula so you don't have to wait for all your brushes to dry. I swear to you, the most dense brush that I have that takes the longest to dry is like five minutes. That's why I keep buying it. Now this big old 32 ounce right here is about 36 bucks. Quite expensive for some brush cleaner, but um, this lasts me, if I'm consistently doing my makeup, this would last me a month. Because I no longer consistently do my makeup, it lasts me a whole lot longer. This right here is um, Bath and Body Works. Nope, I'm lying, it's The Body Shop. The Body Shop, honey, come on, please. You can't do this because you were trying to get out of my lap just five minutes ago. You can't do this. You can't do it. I, I rebuke it. Shea butter. Okay? Shea butter lotion. That's what this is right here. It smelled amazing. Mmm. This still smells good. I got a little bit left in there. I'm going to put it on my knuckles. This is great. Um, I love their body butters. I get them from TJ Maxx, as you can see right here. From TJ Maxx. I hope you can see that. It's kind of bright in here. But um, this is $6.99 in comparison to getting them uh, at like Ulta or at the actual body shop. You pay $21 for this. <laughs> nah. <laughs> now I love it, but I ain't about to love it enough to pay $21 a jar. Next up is a hair care product. This is a uh, curly buttercream from Miss Jessie's, the best darn buttercream, period. Period. Um, this was very nice. I'm trying to think if this necessarily made a difference. Like if, if I could use a different product and still get the same results. Because I don't know, like it's, it wasn't memorable. Let's put it that way. I liked it when I used it, I enjoyed it. I used it in conjunction with this right here, which I stand for. This is, thank God it's natural, TGIN, twist and define cream, you guys, you guys, listen to me. This, and I've stand, I've, I've done this before, I've like gone ballistic because this is the bomb.com. This is amazing and it's not as expensive as this right here. I think this is in the 20s, this is in the teens, like $14 or something like that. This one like $23 or something like that. And, and I can't even tell you whether or not I thought this was just magnificent and would buy it again, because I don't know. But I'll tell you something about this girl, this girl I would absolutely buy again. Nala, I love you. So speaking of Miss Jessie's, it's another thing that I live for. This is Pillow Soft Curls. It smells so good. Like that alone makes me want to buy it. This smells so doggone good. It smells like, it smells like, mm, it smells like the best laundry detergent. <laughs> I know that's not how your hair should smell, but this smells so good. I just can't even, and it really does the job. Pillow Soft Curls, if you want a fluffy, soft cloud of an afro, What is 
So if you want a big, luscious cloud of an afro, this is your girl, okay? This is my third uh, bottle of this. I will buy this over and over again. I love this stuff. Pillow Soft Curls is the goat. It's the goat. I have fine hair. I know it doesn't look like I do, but I do. I have fine hair. I have like medium density or like normal density hair. Uh, and the, the actual hair strands are fine. So they're easily, like they break easily. And, and um, my hair doesn't get weighed down by this product. So I can get that volume that I love so much. You have got to let me finish. Cause I, I, but, but I've been holding you all day. I held you for your nap. I held you the whole time, girl. Mm. 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 Honey, hemp, detangling, and moisturizing conditioner from Oyen Handmade. You can get this at Target online if you cannot find it in store. This is just a moisturizer, honestly. Like, I don't use this as a styling agent because it's not. It doesn't even say it styles your hair, y'all. It's detangling and moisturizing conditioner. So I use this as a leave-in. I use this when I detangle my hair. Um, but it's it's when I'm planning to leave it in because this is definitely a leave-in style conditioner. On to some things for the baby uh, that have been used up. This is the organic all-purpose balm from Honest Company. And it really is that. It's just, it's a moisturizer. Um, it, you can use it to like heal chapped skin, basically. So we have a ton of these and um, I wouldn't necessarily say that we wouldn't get it again, but right now we're doing like a eczema treatment on Nala, so we haven't been using any other products except what the doctor recommended. So we're on pause with our essentials bundle, which means that we don't really get this on. Next up is another product that we tried for her eczema. This is the vitamin E cream uh, from Nature's Bounty. I think you can get this on Amazon. I don't remember where we got it from, but um, it was nice for healing when she was scratching and leaving like open scars on her face. It was really great for that because vitamin E is an amazing healer. Would not get it again necessarily because we found a routine that really works well for her. Um, it's not that it doesn't work, it's just that we found something better. All right, so next up, this was from Babies R Us, makes you rest in peace. These are um, safety cu cucumbers. I was really gonna say safety cucumbers, y'all. <laughs> safety cotton swabs, there we go. This is a 60 count. They're, you know, like, they look like this right here. I hope you guys can see that, they look like that. And so it only allows you to go in so far, which is really great because they have like little tiny ear canals. So these are really awesome for that. We have two more of these uh, in the drawer. All right, so next up from Honest Company, again, this is another thing that we were using to moisturize Nala. This is the um, organic body oil. Um, it's nice. You know, we've, we've purchased it again. It's cool. Um, it's not a need, I don't think. I mean, it has, um, you know, it, it's all oils. There's nothing in here that's like a preservative or anything. It's literally all oils. Sunflower oil, coconut oil, olive oil, jojoba oil, grapefruit oil, um, chamomile. Um, what is this one here? Calendula. Um, I, I'm having some trouble reading some of these. But it's all, <laughs> and it's also really small writing. But these are all, like, it's just an oil blend that you rub all over your baby. Or yourself. It really doesn't matter. Um, buy it if you want to. I don't think it's terrible. Like, it's cool. You know what I mean? Next up is from Burt's Bees Baby. This is a little body lotion with milk and honey. Um, it was just a sample. Not a sample, but like a travel size that came in a kit. Um, I wouldn't buy it. I, I didn't really feel like it played well with other products. Like, it would kind of clump up a little bit and you would have to really work to get it into the skin so I, I wasn't really feeling it next up is for me this is a mini fix plus they're about 10 bucks I would not buy this again. I'm actually planning to just keep this <laughs> keep this little container right here and just use my regular size fix plus so no I would not buy the travel size again but I do love my fix plus and I will absolutely purchase fix plus again so this right here you can tell it's been used and abused okay this is Neutrogena's um, what is this called? Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine. Out of all the drugstore lip glosses that I have tried, this is absolutely banging. This stuff reminds me of Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss, uh, but it's only $10. So I think that 
Um, and they have a really nice little color range. It's a small range, but it's all neutrals and uh, or pinks, pinks and neutrals. This one is in the shade Pink Mocha, and this was like absolutely perfect for um, deeper skinned women who just want a little little color, just a little pinkish nude. It was really great for that. It has like mauve undertone. I would purchase it again. I think it was really beautiful. And that is it. The bag is empty, you guys. So, um, hope you enjoyed my quick empties video. Um, Nala, baby, what you want to say to the people? You want to say anything to the people? <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> She's saying if you like the video, go ahead and put a, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ew. <laughs> okay, boo boos. <laughs> Nala. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, we will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.